The gospel is the good news about Jesus Christ, the Son of God. And as soon as you say who Jesus is, he's the Christ, the Son of God, you get a vision of who God is, according to Christians. Jesus is the Christ. That's a, a, a word in Hebrew. That's the Messiah. It means the, he's the anointed one. He's filled to overflowing with the Holy Spirit. And he's the Son of God, the Son of the Father. So to come to know who Jesus is, you instantly come to know his Father, who he reveals, and his Spirit, who he pours out on you. And this is who God is, according to Christians. God is a loving union of three, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, which means that the world has come from light, life, and love. The trouble is we have turned away from God. We have rebelliously turned our backs on light, life, and love, and therefore we live in a place of darkness, death, and disconnection. That's the world that you and I live in. And it's not just darkness, death, and disconnection that's out there in the world. There's darkness, death, and disconnection in me. Even the people I say I love the most, I treat with such darkness and death. What am I like? Well, I, I'm caught up in this evil. I'm caught up in this darkness. I'm, I'm part of a broken system, part of a broken family, this human family. So what does God do? Well, what does love do when love sees the beloved in trouble? Well, love dives down into the trouble. Love says your trouble will become my trouble. Your darkness will become my darkness. Your death will become my death. Your disconnection will become my disconnection. Jesus, the son of the father, comes and joins us as our strong elder brother, if you like. And he lives the life that you and I should live. You read through the gospels and you see that light, life and love just ooze out of him, just flow out of him. He's, he's just, he's radiant with the good life. And yet... He dies on a cross in darkness and death and disconnection. Why? Well, because he's doing what love does. Love says, if you're in trouble, I'll take your trouble. If you're in debt, I'll pay off your debts. What is Jesus doing? He's paying off your debt on that cross, dying in the darkness, taking the disconnection from God that belongs to us. We, we deserve disconnection from God. We deserve hell for turning our backs on God. Jesus takes that hell on the cross. And then beautifully, wonderfully, he rises up again into light, life, and love. And he says, you in the darkness, do you want my light? You in disconnection, do you want my love? You, you in death, do you want my life? And anyone who turns from that darkness to Christ, well, instantly you get Jesus as your Lord, your Savior, your elder brother. You get his father as your father. You get his spirit as your spirit. You get his future as your future. It's for free and it's forever. Will you come to Christ?